the Marine Cryptologic Support Battalion on the obstacle course during a day of competition and team building. More on the Marines in a moment. Also this week, it's a busy season on the job search front. We'll run down some upcoming events. The Lieutenant Dan Band is coming to Fort Meade. We'll have details on that. Also, the Military District of Washington's Evening with Heroes and Voices is coming up. These stories and more, but first, a reminder that Fort Meade's Earth Day observance is coming up next Thursday, April 20th at the Fort Meade Pavilion. The schedule kicks off with a 9 a.m. presentation on the Environmental Protection Agency's Safer Choice program. The Garrison's Recycling Contest winners will be announced just after 10 o'clock. The Meade Elementary School Kids Art Contest winner, their Designing Reusable Bags, will be announced at about 10.30. Lunch is being provided by Corvius Military Living and the Civilian Welfare Fund. The displays and exhibits are open until 2 p.m. If that isn't enough, we just found out that the Marriott Town Place Suites at BWI Airport is going to have an exhibit and is offering two drawings for two one-night stays. It's all coming up April 20th at the Fort Meade Pavilion. Meanwhile, the Marine Cryptological Support Battalion holds several big events every year to build camaraderie and esprit de corps. This week, they staged a super squad competition that started at the obstacle course and ended with a family-friendly chili cook-off. Event organizer Captain John Lindbergh says the events are for the entire Marine Corps family. So it's a little bit of everything for everyone, and that's what we try to do with these battalion events, is bring in as many people as possible to really get that family feel, and that's what the battalion commander is all about is the esprit de corps, the camaraderie. And Marines always like to do hard things. So starting off with a real physically demanding, uh, physically challenging event um, that we can actually cheer for the Marines and then culminate with a family event, uh, such a battalion level event. It's a, it's a great day. And what about the physical challenge? We asked a couple of young Marines to share their thoughts. That's the part of the reason why most of us joined the Marine Corps was for the challenge. And so coming out again, doing something like this, it's a good opportunity to, to meet that expectation of challenge. I'm looking for the old course. I love it. It's a little obstacle course, make it a little different, and probably just the, uh, the rocking with the pack pack. Haven't, ha haven't done that in a very long time. We do stuff like this to get together, build camaraderie, build teamwork, just kind of get to know each other really well on a one-on-one -on -one personal basis. Um, so, I mean, the chili cook-off, can't wait. I'm so hungry. <laughs> And the chili cook-off, it's a good way to end a day of tough physical challenges and bring the entire battalion and family members together. It just gets everybody out, gets the families involved. They can, you know, they can talk to the battalion commander, they can talk to the company commanders, and you know, the spouses can, you know, some of the spouses I've never seen before. They've heard of me, they've seen my emails, but I've never met them, so I'm meeting people for the first time. So now, you know, when they get that email every week that says, good to know fro email, now there's a face to go with the name. Meanwhile, it's a busy season on the job search and transition assistance front. Here's a brief rundown of upcoming events. Anne Arundel County is holding the Military Veterans Expo 2017 on Saturday, April 26th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Annapolis High School. Veterans from all services are invited. Call 410-841-9327 for more information. McGill Training Center is hosting a Military Spouse Job Fair Wednesday, April 26th from 8 to noon. It's a spouse fair, but everyone is invited to attend. Information can be found at www.me.armymwr.com. For event and resume doctor information, email jerome.duncan at maryland.gov. An additional note, a Military Spouse Appreciation Relaxation Station is going to be set up in conjunction with the job fair. The station features seated massages a free barbecue lunch, and even door prizes. Contact Army Community Service for more information. In other news, we announced on Facebook earlier this week that actor and musician Gary Sinise and the Lieutenant Dan Band will be performing at 7 p.m. Thursday, May 18th on McLaughlin Parade Field. There have been questions about eligibility. First of all, it's a free event. And secondly, if you have a Department of Defense ID that allows you to get on Fort Meade, you'll be able to enjoy the show. The show is scheduled to go on rain or shine, in case of rain, the show will be moved to the Fort Meade Pavilion. And finally, in a related story, the Military District of Washington is presenting Celebrating America's Army, an evening with Heroes and Voices. There are three shows, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, April 20th, 21st, and 22nd. All take place at the Arlington National Cemetery. Here's more from the Military District of Washington. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade week. The U.S. Army Military District of Washington presents Celebrating America's Army, an evening with heroes and voices, a spectacular free military concert honoring the sacrifices of America's soldiers, first responders, nurses, teachers, and astronauts. Or visit www.mdwhome.mdw.army.mil.